again today. Leaflet bombs have exploded outside two of Ecuador's leading newspapers. Now, no injuries were reported, but it has left those living near the area shaken, as you might imagine. Now, the bombs were placed outside the offices of the pro-government, El Telegrafo, and the opposition, El Universo newspapers in Guayaquil. They both contained a text by a previously unknown National Liberation Front in which it claims responsibility for a blast two weeks ago outside the headquarters of the governing país alliance party. Now, the pamphlet accuses President Rafael Correa's citizens' revolution of being, quote, opportunist. And we're going to turn live now to Ecuador for the absolute latest on this story and to our correspondent Liz Scherfius. So, Liz, give us the latest details. What happened here? Um, what's the latest that we know? Yes, Cody, as you said, two bombs were detonated last night in the coastal city of Guayaquil. One in front of the El Universo newspaper headquarters at around 10 p.m. and the other in front of the El Telegrafo newspaper office at around 11. Uh, now, while there was personnel working in both offices at the time of the attacks, there were no injuries. And letters were left um, at the site of the incidents, um, signed by this organization, which you mentioned, called the National Liberation Front. And they said that this is their first message to the nation. Do we have any more information, Liz? We've never even heard about these people, the National Liberation Front. Uh, do we know who they are? Uh, do people even believe at this point that it's a real organization? No, Cody, little is known about this organization, the National Liberation Front. They're just now making themselves known to the public uh, through these attacks. As you said um, in your presentation, they have claimed responsibility for the July 14th attack on the uh, Pais Alliance Party headquarters in Guayaquil. But little is known. Uh, investigations are underway to learn more about who the National Liberation Front is and what their motives are. Um, and the Special Operations Unit of the National Police is looking into these attacks. Uh, the Attorney General Office of Guayaquil has said that they will investigate the attacks as well and has classified this as being uh, an act of terrorism. Um, now, there were 911 cameras on site, which will be revised to see if perpetrators of these attacks um, can be identified. And we should mention here, Liz, that we're seeing video of what I believe to be further marches and demonstrations. Of course, this is all happening during a time of heightened political tensions um, in Ecuador. Um, and we expect those marches and mobilizations by opposition. Some of them have turned violent. We expect them to continue um, in the coming days. So my question here, Liz, is has any link been made between those movements and these actions? No link has been made yet, Cody. Um, as I said, investigations are underway to learn more about who this National Liberation Front is and what their motives are, um, but no direct link has been made yet. Now, via his Twitter account, opposition leader of uh, the indigenous movement, Salvador Quispe, who will be leaving, leaving a march on August 2nd, leaving, leaving from the Zamor Zamorta province, to uh, Quito for the national uh, indigenous uprising, said via his Twitter account, accused the El Telegrafo newspaper um, of self-inflicting this attack. Um, also via his Twitter account, Vice President of Ecuador, Jorge Glass, denounced these attacks. Um, so yes, investigations are underway to learn more about this organization, what their motives are. Um, and who the perpetrators of these attacks are, but no direct link has yet been made uh, between the National Liberation Front and the uh, indigenous uprising, which is scheduled for August 10th and the national strike for August 13th, Cody. All right, Liz Scherfi is covering the latest for us from Ecuador. Liz, thanks so much.